Hi, my name is Jim LePage, and I'm the founder and lead artist at Chroma Supply. In this video, I'd like to give you a quick demo of Painter, our newest brush pack for Photoshop. These brushes allow you to quickly and easily paint stunning brush strokes within Photoshop, like this. Let's check them out. So the way these brushes work is you choose one of your Painter brush heads, which are included with the product, then load it with one of your Painter image swatches, which is, are also included. Now with 36 brush heads and 45 image swatches, you'll have over 1600 potential combinations. Today I'll run through four of them very quickly. So to start out, I'm going to make sure I have the mixer brush selected. Then I want to select my brush head and I'll use this one. I'll come over to the image swatches and I think I'm going to try this one. And let's see what this looks like. So you can see right away that just selecting a brush head and an image swatch and simply brushing a brush stroke on there, it looks pretty incredible with very little effort. So these are very quick and easy to use. So let's try another combination. This time I'll choose this brush head and let's try this swatch down here. Make sure I'm on the right layer. A big brush head this time. So these work really well for kind of big, thick brush strokes here. And one thing I want to show you on here is even though these look pretty dimensional already, with a little bit of shadow and highlight work, and for that I'm going to use the regular brush tool and just use black and white for shadow and highlights. So I'll create a new layer to put some shadows on. Grab the soft round brush, set it to about 20%. And I want to have it so the, the it's like the light source is kind of up here. So I'm going to kind of darken all the spots that would not be hit by that light. And this is something that you know, I could take quite a bit of time on, get it to look really nice. But my point here today is to show you how quickly you can get a decent look from these. So I think that looks good for the shadows. So now I'll work on the highlights. Switch that to white. Now let's give these some highlights here. And this is actually such a fun and relaxing thing for me. Just slowly building up these shadows and highlights here. So again, this is really quick here, but let's just toggle off those shadows and highlights. And you can see just that really quick work gives the, gave this a real 3D look. So let's turn that off and we'll try one more here and I'll turn it back to the mixer brush tool. I'm going to use this brush head and let's try this image swatch. So make sure I got the right layer selected and let's see what this one looks like. Now this is one of my favorite brush heads in this pack because it gives this kind of weird, almost glassy look to it where the colors sort of blend and affect each other. Uh, I really like that look. And something else I'd like to show you on this one is also included in this pack is a set of layer styles. Now these are a way to give you a quick and easy way to change the look of your brush strokes. So 
I'll, we'll run through these, and the first three are these boosts, and they primarily have to do with uh, the saturation and contrast. So a bright boost, medium boost, dark boost, and a black kind of dark gray, which looks pretty cool, a little spooky. Might be able to see it a little bit better on a lighter background. Then a white, light gray. And again, that kind of glassy look is coming through, which I really like. And gold, chrome, and one color. Now, these are all editable layer styles. So with how many combinations you have, it's not gonna be one size fits all, but these will get you, push you in a way where then you can go in and edit those layer styles uh, to make it your own. Now, for example, let's drag the layers palette over here. And right now we have this one color uh, layer style, style applied. So I'm gonna double click the layer. And here's our layer style. Now, if you see here, it says edit fourth color overlay. So if we count down one, two, three, four, if we go in here, this is our color. So we can just move that around change it to whatever color you want. Now, that's just one minor way you can, you can tweak this, um, but there's so many things you can do. I would encourage you to play around with these and then dig in here and make it your own. So let's put this back over here. The one last thing I wanted to show is how these can be used for lettering. I am not a great letterer, um, but I still think it's worth showing that even someone like me could get some decent results. So here's a piece of lettering I did uh, very quickly. Not going to win any awards, but for my skill set, I'm happy with that. It's pretty fluid. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just like we added shadow and highlights to that brush stroke earlier, I'm going to do that on, on the lettering here. And it took me maybe a minute to add these. Uh, so it's very quickly, but I'll toggle on these uh, shadows there. We'll turn on the highlights. You can see if I toggle them both off, just a little bit of shading goes a long way here. Now to add on to that, let's try these styles. See if any of those help. It's looking pretty good. Oh, I really like that. Very moody. I like that gold a lot. That looks pretty cool. That chrome is nice too. But yeah, I really like that gold. So if you are someone who does a lot of custom lettering, this could be a great addition to your tool set. Again, unlike most brush packs that are available, these are multicolor. The full pack includes 36 brushes, 45 image swatches, a set of layer styles, plus a demo video that goes much more in depth covering installation and usage. A painter is our 150th product. So if you want to see more work like this, check out our shop at chromasupply.com. If you really like what you see there, you may be interested in our subscription, which for a one-time payment gives you lifetime access to all products. Plus, you'll receive all future products for free. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to drop them in the comments below or email us directly at info at chromasupply.com. Thanks.